The feds have just released a detailed report with new information about the LA Fitness incident involving New York rapper Takashi 6 9 as rappers have now been mentioning that 6 9 has snitched once again. Let's read it over. After all three suspects exited the building, you can observe Hernandez, aka 6 9 exit the men's locker room suffering from the incident to the face area, as well as walking without any shoes on. Moments after walking out, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office deputies from District 6 arrive onto the scene to assist Hernandez and the investigation. I briefly spoke with the 911 caller, who stated that Hernandez was in obvious pain and that he uttered to LA Fitness staff that the suspect stole his cell phone, shoes, as well as the key fob to his Lamborghini SUV. Now, after reviewing the CCTV and speaking with staff, your affiant proceeded to travel to Hernandez's residence in an attempt to make contact with the victim and get a statement regarding those events. Your affiant and detective arrived at Hernandez's gated community and spoke to the on-duty security guard that mans the gate at the entrance. The security guard stated that approximately 2200 hours on the 21st of March, a tow truck brought Hernandez's Lamborghini SUV to the neighbor's residence because the suspects stole Hernandez's car key and that Hernandez was afraid that the suspects were going to locate his address and continue going after him. Now this confirms that earlier information that was provided to detectives that the suspects robbed Hernandez's of his vehicle's key fob. I spoke to Hernandez on numerous occasions since the incident occurred. Hernandez confirms that the suspects stole his balloon Balenciaga white colored tennis shoes, his key fob to his Lamborghini SUV, as well as his Apple iPhone. At no time did Hernandez give permission to the suspects to take ownership of either of the three items listed. And based off the CCTV, as well as several videos taken of the incident itself, Hernandez's items were forcibly taken from his person with extreme force. Hernandez has stated that he was taken to the West Hospital for care and now has noticeable features features on his body that are related to the incident. Hernandez continued to state that he was scared due to the fact that there was three of them actively going after him. Leave a like on the video if you think 6 9 is a snitch. I'm curious how many of you do. Now after that official police report would be released, we would now finally hear from Takashi 6 9 himself. Writing on his Instagram page, first time addressing the situation. For two years, I've been walking around with no security. Not saying I promote that, but now you finally really see I never hid from anything. If you ever crossed my path or ever even came to my house, you girls know who you are. You can tell the world Danny drives his own cars and be solo. You know how many people seen me in real life by myself in gas stations, supermarkets, restaurants. Anyway, what happened here was nothing but cowardly. I'm not mad that this happened. In the streets, there are no rules, so I can't say that they were wrong. Obviously, it wasn't fair, but again, the streets have no rules. Just imagine having nothing to do with a situation and feel obligated to make it your business. I'm happy to be here still, and I want to say I love my fans. Thank you. P.S. I never knew we respected going after people. When did that ever become a W? Then roughly 25 minutes after 6 9 spoke to the public, we would see academics right on Instagram. The men who went after 6 9 for 25 minutes straight have now been arrested by authorities. Takashi 6 9 should be sleeping a little easier tonight. The cops say they have the three men who went after him in custody. A rep for the Palm Beach Sheriff Office tells TMZ, detectives rounded up Raphael Jr., Octavius, as well as Anthony, in jail for the LA Fitness incident versus the New York rapper. The suspects were being booked Thursday evening, and they were processed into the county jail. Now, this makes it a clear example to not mess with Takashi 6 9 even on social media. Another example of someone messing with 6 9 is 600 Breezy. As in February 2021, 6 9 was on an Instagram Live with Breezy. During this IG Live, 6 9 was seen dissing all rappers that have sadly passed in Chicago, such as King Vaughn. 600 Breezy would hop into that IG Live and tell 6 9 to quit it or else it'll be on site when he sees them. Shortly after, a few months would go by. 600 Breezy went very silent on social media. No one knew where he went. Then randomly, Breezy would hop onto IG Live sharing this message. Iowa Department of Corrections, right? When they say violation, February 22nd, 21, right? What did they do that say, bro? 
it say I I'm six oh six nine, right? You feel me? You see they try how much time they try to give me, right? You gonna go to jail? I just went to jail for saying something. Come on, bro. This real, like, come on. I can't make this up. I can't print. Now, Breezy's camera didn't focus fully on the paperwork, but I was able to figure out what it said. It reads, posted video saying he was going to go after rapper 6 9 and had a firearm posted on social medias with an extended. Now, Takashi 6 9 is still a federal informant on paper. The feds will keep him safe. They will arrest anyone that messes with him. Another example of this would be Detroit rapper 42 Doug, who remains still in jail to this day after starting a beef with 6 9 exactly one year ago on the release of 6 9s song Jenna. As rapper 42 Doug called out 6 9 leading him to being arrested by the feds. As the famous rap lawyer would go on to post this on Instagram. Did the back and forth between 42 Doug and Takashi 6 9 cause the feds to escalate their pursuit of 42 Doug? I would actually say absolutely yes. Let me explain this to you. March 12th is when 42 Doug was supposed to report to the federal prison. It wasn't until April 29th that the feds actually went out and started looking for him. What happened on April 26th and April 27th? The Doug and Takashi 6 9 internet exchange about starting a boxing. Currently, 42 Doug is still in prison right now and is allegedly facing a prison sentence upwards to five years. But how did it start? Now, this entire situation started when 42 Doug reacted to 6 9 pulling up on Lil Perkyo, otherwise known as Lil Dirk's twin. As 42 Doug calls out 6 9 saying, I hate when people do stuff to good people. Rats involving white boys and street stuff. People be lames and could have pulled up on so many others, but they pull up on a kid with nothing to do with nothing. Y'all can never expect non-street people to understand the streets. These people running up trying to ruin his life, but knowing a real man would spit on you. As 6 9 ended up responding to him on Instagram Live, where he said, Hey, I would smack the fire out of you for two Doug. Let's get in a hotel room, just me and you, and let's see what happens. I show proof I don't have security. So with the feds obviously always monitoring Takashi 6 9s social medias, as he is one of their own, this would later result in 42 Doug getting a complete search history done on him. And while doing so, they realized that 42 Doug actually has a warrant out for his arrest. Now, this is what triggered the 42 Doug manhunt, resulting in his arrest, as news outlets reported 42 Doug fails to surrender himself into jail. A manhunt was created by Special Forces Police Team to find the Detroit rapper, as the rapper was supposed to serve a six month prison sentence. Sadly, with 42 Doug hiding from law enforcement, his new prison sentence is looking up to be five years. Now, although this beef didn't end well for 42 Doug or even 600 Breezy with their own, 6 9 would end up getting karma, as we would see this clip of Takashi 6 9 go viral right before 6 9 would go missing for the last year. Now, right after this video was released online, a very concerning photo was then attached. In this photo, you could see 6 9 getting a cast put onto his arm. Now, there was a second photo with it, but I'm not even allowed to share it, as 6 9 had many bruises on his face. Now, some believe it's due to 6 9 dissing King Vaughn. Some believe it's due to him snitching on 600 Breezy, or even the 4-2 Doug situation. It makes it very clear rappers have to stay clear of 6 9 but this doesn't stop rappers from reacting to the the incident that just affected him. Just like the LA Fitness incident, we saw WAC 100 say they did him like this for snitching, then turned around and snitched on themselves. Clout is the new goal. 6 9 I wish you a speedy recovery. To then later posting on his story, it's unfortunate what happened to 6 9 He's a good guy. Life is full of lessons, and this isn't about his so-called street situation. This is about decision making on both sides. The ones who filmed and posted themselves will remember this day for many years to come and 6 9 will now know he has to move accordingly i still wish him a speedy recovery which would then lead to fellow new york rapper 22g's who shared did y'all see what happened to rainbow emoji obviously directed at 6 9 trying to get people to look into it shortly after we would then see lil reese as reese posted 6 9 damn we're praying for you hit us up when you see this to even boosie sharing on his twitter let's go start a gofundme for this guy directing the GoFundMe to the man that caught 6 9 ine lacking. 